What's going on, folks? So Shannon Sharp recently sat on his uh, show with uh, Chad Ojo Cinco, their uh, show uh, Nightcap. He said it's crazy what uh, Taylor Swift has been able to do for the NFL from a different perspective of those that don't even watch the game, said Johnson. Um, so no, that was Chad Johnson then before Sharp asked him to name another celebrity who would have the same economic effect on the NFL as Taylor Swift. Johnson uh, replied, Beyonce, before Sharp uh, shut him down, shaking his head and saying, I love Beyonce, but Beyonce ain't moving the needle like this chick. She's the closest thing to moving the needle like Michael Jackson that we've seen. Uh, in response to Sharp's uh, statements, uh, Johnson said, really back in a little bit, Beyonce moves the needle just like Taylor, if not more. So they, they just went back and forth on that. And, um, Shannon is spot on by about Taylor Swift. These off topics sh show the level of expertise Shannon has. He didn't just say what he said off the cuff. He knew what he was talking about, said one who understood Sharp's argument. So that's one of his fans. At the end of the day, um, Taylor Swift, um, I mean, I know a ton of people that haven't watched the game that are basically saying they're not going to watch it anymore um, until the, t the Taylor Swift, uh, you know, Swift Bowl, so to speak, is 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 over, right? Um, you know, it's just amazing that they don't even show people's wives as much as they show someone's girlfriend. And I know everybody's girlfriend isn't Taylor Swift, um, and I think Dolly, Dolly Parton is way better than than Taylor Swift. It has more of a uh, talent um, from a from a songwriting, um, from uh, musicianship, uh, but that's neither here nor there. Um, Comparing the two is just kind of like not really a good comparison because Taylor Smith, Taylor Swift makes music that's just for high schoolers, you know, young kids. Um, she's in her thirties and still making music that's uh, relatable to these kids, and I, you would think there'd be a level of growth. Uh, but she has uh, brought in money if we want to talk about that, and she's generated three hundred thirty-one million more uh, for. Uh, the Chiefs organization. Um, I just don't understand, um, you know, the the the, the impact uh, on the game. Saying this on the impact of a Michael Jackson, I don't think so. Um, she has a bigger impact as far as, as far as sports is concerned um, than the Beyonce is because Taylor Swift is. Uh, you know, she could get folks that never watch sports to watch sports, right? Um, and, um, you know, a lot of folks are tuning in, buying jerseys and tuning in and watching clips of her based off of being a fan of her. Have you ever been to her show? Um, and you see her clips online, not a great performer, um, not a great singer, not even a great musician, uh, but she write songs that uh, relate to her fan base. She caters to her fan base. Um, at the end of the day, um, to see th this game after game uh, and see how the, the league is rigged based off of one of this Taylor Swift thing, the goal, the distance to the Super Bowl, um, is what they care about. They care about uh, getting as much many views as possible. Um, so ratings, as far as ratings are concerned, I guess she can generate, uh, you know, more visibility than than a than a Beyonce. But you also have to keep in mind Beyonce is more low key. She's private. Her life is private. Whereas Taylor Swift puts everything out there. She puts it in songs. Uh, she puts it on social media, um, and she's quite immature, so to speak. Um, and when this relationship is over between her and Kelsey, um, it just will be another album. Pice. <laughs> 